what up y'all back here with another one and today i'm going to show you guys how to install resident evil using lutris so first off you're going to need to download lutris as you can see we're in the discover store on steam os all you got to do is search it up lutris and you should be good next off you're going to need the setup files the setup installer on gog.com so you go to gog.com make sure you log in and then go to resident evil store page and then right under the install button the big blue install button there should be uh an option to install the offline setup installer so you there's two files so you grab those two files and you should be good once that's done let's go ahead and back out of here this is lutris right here so all you got to do is go to the top right here, hit that plus, and then go ahead and install executable. If I can grab, there you go. So now you could just enter the name and let's go ahead and do that. Pardon me. Uh, I don't have the best vision. So bang bang. Just this is just whatever. This is you're gonna put Resident Evil here, but this is just for demonstration purposes. And make sure this at the bottom is Windows 10 64 bit. So let's continue now and install this wine. It's gonna install for you, but I already have it installed, so it went right through. This is where you want to place the game. So you could go ahead and hit the three buttons right here. And this is where it's going to install the game. So you could put it on your SD card. You could put it in your home or whatever. So bang, we're just going to leave that there. And now this is the setup. This is the executable file. So you need to put the setup here. So I'm going to show you what it will look like. Go to my Steam. Now we're in my SD card, of course. GOG, installers. These are all the installers that I have for GOG. And make sure you get the executable, not the bin. The executable and then okay so now that once that's done all you gotta do is go ahead and click continue it will do it and then bang once this is here it's gonna set up it's gonna do is wind things and then the setup should pop up right now. As you see, it did. So from here, you can actually choose the, the Japanese version if you want to put the Rebirth mod onto it. This is how you do so. So I'm just going to continue with the English version. And then from here, you just go to choose. And then from here, this is where you place where where you're going to install, wherever the game, whatever. So bang, bang. I'm not going to do that now because I already did it. So we're going to back out of this, John. Uh, yes, please. Okay. So let's get out of here. So once that's all done, once it's installed, don't launch it because there's no executable file. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and right click on Resident Evil and go to configure. Once you configure it, make sure you put the executable. This is the executable right here. 
you're going to want, instead of doing the Resident Evil.exe, you're going to want to put the launch Resident Evil.lmk. That is the that is what you're going to use to launch the game. And there's some other options that you're going to want to put. So go ahead and go to runner options over here and make sure DG Voodoo 2 is enabled. Once you have that, you can go ahead and go to the bottom right here and actually put in a just like you did with um, Heroic Games Launcher, you're going to put in this, you go here at the bottom and click add. And then for the name, you, you put DDL, D-D-R-A-W dot D-L-L, and then with the value N comma B. And then from there, you just save it. Everything should be good and Gucci. And then once that's done, um, you want to go ahead and go wherever you downloaded the game and go to dxconfig.exe and add that to Steam. That is going to be the configuration um, executable that you need to configure the game settings. And I'm going to show you guys my game settings right now. So you guys can get a better experience and use the real estate, the screen real estate on your Steam Deck. And you can get, you can play Resident Evil in widescreen. So, as you can see, we're loading up. This is the DX config file that you're going to have to uh, add to Steam wherever you downloaded Resident Evil. So once you do that, that's good. So, okay, for resolution, you're going to want to put it to 720p. As you can see here. And then for your presentation, you put it on, uh, you put it on uh, full screen. You disable this aspect correction. Disable that. Uh, screen. Uh, uh, fit to screen. Make sure that's on. I disabled um vertical sync, V sync. So, and then pretty much, uh, increase the anisotropic filtering to sixteen, and turn this to times eight, and then save it, and then you should be good to go. And I'm gonna show you guys the end result. This is probably going to be the best way to play Resident Evil because it's launching the game. You don't have to... Oh, I'm sweating. You don't have to um, use Heroic Launcher anymore. This is why... Because this is a, a true DRM-free experience as you, you, you're getting. So as you can see, no FMVs. Because even on Windows, these are broken. So you're going to need... The rebirth mod if you want to see them fmvs so you know just you know I mean keep that in mind if you're going to do this make you you're not going to be playing with fmvs i'm just uh i've looked around and seen no fixes for this the only way you can fix is if you use the japanese version you patch it to the 1.01 1 uh with the 1.01 1 .01 patch and then apply the rebirth mod and then from there it will work because that it's using it's using totally different enhancements and capabil um, compatibility options compared to this one. This is the original OG version. So as you can see, Resident Evil. the game is using all of its. Um, and you're going to want to go down here. Make sure, you know, you got your little options. And then from here, see, you can change what you want. I would just keep it to what I got here. And because this one makes the game more sharper. This last option right here makes the game way more sharper and nice and 
cool. And when you got it to full, you actually, you see more detail in the game. And that goes for any game. For real, for real. If you're using this option, it really makes the game pop more on the Steam Deck. So as you can see, I had more saves. I, doing this stuff, I deleted my save, so I'm kind of mad about that. But hey, it is what it is. So as you can see, we got the game running perfectly. You got the full screen being utilized. No 4x3 garbage here. So as you can see, everything is running beautifully. All right, guys. Hopefully... That helps you play this game. And like I said, you if you want FMVs, you want to see your little precious videos in the beginning of the game, and you got to use the Rebirth mod. All right? All right. Peace out, y'all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.